This review is for the door jammer. It's a type of door wedge. Um, yeah, that's probably a good description of it. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not sure how they uh, describe it. Oh, here we go. A new portable security device for doors. Mm, door wedge. So uh, this is how it comes. Arrives like this in this nice little box. Um, you can leave it in this for traveling, uh, but you don't have to, and I'll show you for why. So the box is quite, you know, a nice little thing to have. Um, it adds a little bit. On the instructions are inside the box. But what I like about it is it comes with a nice little bag and some accessories. You have your instruction leaflet in uh, God knows how many languages, but it is actually, uh, you know, fairly descriptive. Um, if I show you this, uh, one of the things is you've not just got uh, how to, you've also got diagrams of how to as well. And, um, you know, that's quite a detailed description actually on the best way uh, to, you know, install it and remove it. Okay. One of the advantages of this is it's very easy to hold. So I don't know if you can see here. Um, emergency pull off. One of the problems of putting door wedges under your door is in an emergency it's difficult for emergency services to get in. Um, and this does allow uh, an easy grip pull. Um, so it does, you know, easily tell you how to do it. So, we'll put that aside. What do we get in our little pack? We get the door jammer, okay. And some wedges. Now, a number of people have said to me that they threw these away. They thought they were packing. Um, don't throw them away, they're not packing. Okay, so what these are is, if you think of a door in a frame, well often at the top of the door there's a gap, so you've got a gap between you know the door here and the frame here. And if I'm wedging the bottom of the door, there's a chance that the top of the door can move about. That's what these wedges are for. Leave them on the key ring, and if that one's a perfect one actually. You can see it's sloped. Um, that's a square one, okay? But the slope actually probably explains quite well what you're trying to do. You're trying to push that in at the top of the door to force the door, the top of the door here and the door frame to be the same. So by pushing a wedge in between the two, it means that there's no movement at the top of the door. The door will stay solid. So if someone's pushing like crazy on the door jam, uh, there's no movement in the door itself. Okay. That's not normally a problem in hotel rooms, but often a problem in hostels, backpacking places, or it just in somewhere you know you don't really want to stay in, <laughs> but often we do. So, this fits here and slides under the door, okay? And this is the handle. So I can hold this like a, a lever here and it slides under the door. What we have here is a way that pushes under the door and then this comes out. And you see, the way it works is the door sits here. So this is your door here. That goes flat against the door, but there's, the friction is no longer, like a normal door wedge, let me get you a normal door wedge. So a normal door wedge works on friction here. So it relies on this surface area to give you friction. Okay, and if, if there was no friction, if the door pushed, it would just slide open. Okay, but friction, as you push, a normal door wedge, because the shape of it, it drives into the floor, so every time someone pushes on the door, 
the friction becomes harder and that's why this doesn't move okay what they've done here which is very different to most other manufacturers but it's quite ingenious is by moving this out the mechanics of it are exceptionally good um, because when the doors here as it pushes in the shape of this arm drives this into the floor and it will not move okay this is a very solid little device it will not move trust me um, you've a lever here which winds the silver foot up and down if you need additional then you have this rubber here okay so you have options now the downside of this is the weight it's a quality product and it feels like a quality product um, so one of the things with this is um, you often get people saying oh i've got a door jammer because blah 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 but, uh, almost boastful because it it it's lovely it feels good it's made well it's not you know put together um cheaply it is a quality product but it comes at a price so it's reasonably chunky it's not massive when you see this on pictures it looks like it's gonna you know be an absolutely huge thing but it's not but weight wise it's 210 grams which is not massive but it's significant okay um, put it in with everything else and you're up to 250 okay but 250 grams is nothing really for the peace of mind that this is going to give you so normally i would say don't carry the box all of this slots in You've got a nice little thing, ties up, goes in your hand luggage or your case. Very, very easy, very simple and a real nice quality product. If you're after something that is practical, made well and isn't going to let you down, I would go with one of these. Um, if you want, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of uh, insurance, um, go for a cheap plastic door wedge with one of these um, but this is quality this feels good it's very practical and it's exceptionally well made